Hello everyone. Welcome to Amosapti webcast. In this video, we are going to see the steps on how to wipe Windows 10 device using Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center. By using the retire or wipe actions, we can remove devices from Intune that are no longer needed, being repurposed or missing. Users can also issue a remote command from the Intune Company Portal app to devices that are enrolled in Intune. A wipe is useful for resetting a device before we give the device to a new user or when the device has been lost or stolen. Be careful about selecting wipe. Data on the device cannot be recovered. The method that wipe used to remove data is simple file deletion and the drive is BitLocker encrypted as part of this process. Sign in to the Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center as a global administrator or an Intune service administrator. We can access Microsoft Endpoint Manager using the URL https endpoint.microsoft.com. On home page, click on Devices. Under By Platform, click on Windows. We want to wipe this Windows 10 device from Endpoint Manager Admin Center. But before we do that, let's go to a Windows 10 device first. We have enrolled this Windows 10 device in Intune using Azure AD Join method. Let's check that. But before that, let me show you the host name of this Windows 10 device. We can see the device name is lapwind10-cli02. Now let's check the status of device enrollment. Click on Home. Click on Accounts. We have logged into this Windows 10 device using the credential of our user TasteUser1. Click on Access Work or School. From here, we can confirm that this device is connected to MS App Suraj Azure Active Directory. So let's go to Microsoft Endpoint Manager Web Interface. Let's click on our Windows 10 device. We will be on Overview page. Here we have options to retire, wipe or delete the device from Intune. We will only focus on wipe action. Remember, the wipe action restores a device to its factory default settings. The user data is kept if you choose the retain enrollment state and user account jackbox. Otherwise, all data, apps and settings will be removed. At top bar, click on Wipe. When performing a remote wipe, we will be prompted with multiple options. If we select first checkbox, this will wipe the device but keep enrollment state and associated user account. If we select second option, this will wipe the device and continue to wipe even if device loses power. If you select a second option, please be aware that it might prevent some devices running on a Windows 10 or later from starting up again. We cannot choose both options at the same time. Let me show that. If I select first, then second will be gray out. And if I select the second, then first will be gray out. And if we don't select any option, then this will wipes all user accounts user data, MDM policies and settings from that device. So basically, it resets the operating system to its default state and settings. Click on Wipe to proceed. We can see the confirmation message Wipe initiated. And here we can see the status as well Wipe pending. Now quickly, let's go to Windows 10 device. After few minutes, we will see the message device is going to be restart. But if you don't want to wait for that, let's perform the manual sync with Intune. 
Let's click on sync. We can see the device is restarting automatically. And here we can see the message resetting the PC. Resetting process will take some time to complete it. If the device is on and connected, the wipe action propagates across all device types in less than 15 minutes. We can see resetting the PC is reached to 7%. Let's go back to Microsoft Endpoint Manager. Click on Devices. Let me click on Windows. Uh, let's click on Refresh here. We can see the Windows 10 device is still here. Let me show you something. Let's click on that device name again. And this time, when we click on that device name, here we will get this kind of message. Here we can see the code resource not found. In Intune, this will take some time to update the information. Uh, let me check the status of our Windows 10 device. Okay, it is still resetting the PC. Let me click on refresh again and nothing else. Let's refresh the web page and again check that. And now we can see the Windows 10 device is removed successfully from Intune as we have not selected keep enrollment state and associated user account option. So this is how we can remotely wipe Windows 10 device in Intune using Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center. Let's go back to a Windows 10 PC. And we can see the device is still resetting. Once the resetting process completes, the installation process will start. And then we can see the message installing a Windows. But that will take a while to complete the entire process. Once resetting and installation process completes, you will see out of box experience window and from onwards you can configure your windows 10 device as per your requirement that's all for this video on how to remotely wipe a windows 10 device using microsoft endpoint manager admin center thank you all for watching this video have a nice day